Wastewater treatment plants provide a necessary function for our lives. They use about 3% of total U.S. energy consumption. Using anaerobic digestion at wastewater treatment facilities effectively turns these energy consumers into energy producers. The current treatment process begins with intake and proceeds to primary filtration of large particles. Aeration is a process by which large amounts of air are blown into the treatment tanks in order to raise the dissolved oxygen levels. Aerobic microorganisms begin to feed on the organic matter present and reduce the flow volume. Aeration requires a lot of energy and is a major pull to the process. Chemical coagulation settles remaining particles to the bottom while secondary filtration removes them as a thick sludge. This water is then disinfected with chlorine, neutralized, and then returned to a river or output site. Pumping throughout the entire process is a major draw of energy. The sludge from the filtration process is an energy-rich organic matter. That becomes the fuel source for anaerobic digestion, which converts it to biogas. The biogas generator uses combustion to create electricity. That electricity is sent to the aeration phase and towards the entire plant grid. Excess heat from the combustion process feeds back into the digester for maximum efficiency. Anaerobic digestion is a two-step fermentative process by which microorganisms break down the leftover organic matter. First, acid-forming bacteria convert the sludge medium into acid and carbon dioxide. Next, a second set of bacteria convert those acids into methane gas and carbon dioxide. That methane is a renewable biogas that burns cleaner than traditional fossil fuels. As shown in the diagram of Virginia treatment plants that utilize anaerobic digestion in their treatment process, it is fairly common. There is a disconnect, however, between plants that utilize anaerobic digestion and ones that generate electricity from biogas combustion. Most plants simply flare it off as heat for the digester and HVAC units. Only three plants in Virginia generate electricity from biogas, Waynesboro, Christiansburg, and Roanoke. Using Roanoke as a case study, the 500 kilowatt generators offset nearly 50% of the treatment plant's bought electricity. The combined heat and power system greatly reduced the greenhouse gas emissions at 4,600 metric tons annually. Systems like this have been used overseas in Barcelona, where complete neutrality was achieved and excess electricity was sold back to the power grid. Utilization of the anaerobic digestion process can save wastewater treatment plants a significant amount of money on electricity. Modifications can be made to existing wastewater treatment plants. However, these systems can be costly, and each plant requires a unique system, raising concerns about reliability. There are also programs available, such as the 1603 Renewable Energy Tax Credit Act, that can lessen these startup costs. An anaerobic digestion system reduces greenhouse gas emissions by capturing the methane from manure that might otherwise be released into the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. The technology can be considered clean energy due to the fact that it is using the captured methane to produce heat or generate electricity. Wastewater treatment plants can also give back to their communities by donating leftover sludge to local farmers to be used as a fertilizer. Recently, GE has been a leader in the advancement of biogas technologies. Their Yenbacher reciprocating engine is a popular choice among many facilities. However, currently many of these engines are experiencing premature wear when used at wastewater treatment plants. Siloxanes within the fuel are causing deposition of silicon dioxide when burned. These siloxanes originate from products such as shampoos and lotions, which is why they are present in the wastewater. Research is currently being conducted on the effectiveness of various filtration methods for the removal of these siloxanes.